A big night for NC State fans as the Wolfpack get the win over Texas Tech in their opening round of the NCAA tournament. Our team coverage is going to begin in Pittsburgh. That's where we find CBS 17's Todd Gibson live. And what a game. I mean, a 13-point win ain't a bad way to get things going. No, not at all, Rod. We're here in the concourse here at PPG Paints Arena, and there's a bar right over here on the concourse. Wolfpack fans just flew out of there just a little bit ago. They're walking up and down the concourse here shouting, Wolfpack, Wolfpack, just an amazing scene here at PPG Paints Arena. They're still coming out right now behind me. 80-67 the Wolfpack with a win. Cinderella is still alive and well here in Pittsburgh. In fact, there's two Cinderellas alive and well here because for earlier today, Oakland, number 14, Oakland knocked off number three, Kentucky. So now the Pack will play Oakland on Saturday, and they will certainly be favored to win that game. What a game today by the by the Wolfpack. Mohamed Diara, a double-double, 17 points, 12 rebounds. Ben Middlebrooks coming off the bench with a career-high 21 points. The DJs, DJ Burns, 16, DJ Horn, 16. And Texas Tech, they struggled. Missing three-pointers all night long as the pack knock off Texas Tech 80 to 67. State shoots 51% in this game. Of course, we'll have much more coming up later on the show in sports, but wow, what a scene. The Wolfpack fans still streaming out. Nice win by the Wolfpack tonight. They didn't even really play their best game, but they got it done. They will move on to Saturday to take number 14 seed Oakland. Should be a good game. We'll send it back to you guys and talk to you more about this game coming up a little bit later in sports. All right, Gibby, thank you so much. And a lot of uh, Wolfpack fans stayed up very look late to watch that. the game, uh, the opening round of the NCAA tur uh, tournament. Look at look at the folks at the bell tower there. Amazing, amazing. And Greg Funderburg is here. Yeah, we continue our team coverage. Um, Greg, looks like you got some fans behind you. Andrew and Rod, a lot of excitement here at right. Sandy's Cafe Grill. Right. A lot of excitement. They're excited to continue the dance. Nick, really quickly, oh. how do you feel right now? I feel great. Five more games, baby. Five, Five more great. games. Five more games, Five but you know more. what? I found so many other fans who are so excited about the big dance. Go pack. Go pack. NC State fans came out in droves to cheer on the Wolf Pack. So nuts because I didn't think that we'd ever get to this point. Like I feel like this was a game that like no one thought we were actually gonna like get to. So now that we're here, it's like we could go, we could go big. Why not us? Go back! There's national buzz. There's local buzz around NC State. NC State fans have waited so long for this program to be kind of you know the talk of the area for the right reasons. These Wolfpack fans are still riding the momentum from the ACC tournament win for the first time since 1987. They have not won that in, what, 30-something years? That's crazy. That's just insane to me. I love the players. DJ Burns, you're my favorite. I love him. Last time someone won five wins in a conference tournament game was UConn with Kemba Walker, and they won the whole thing. So I'm not trying to say that's what we're going to do, but I'm hopeful. I'm And these fans say despite what happens, they will forever cheer for the Wolfpack. It's such a monumental moment, and it makes me honestly kind of emotional because I really do love this school so much, and it's only been a year, but, like, I never want to leave. <laughs> if you're not a Wolfpack, get into it. Come on. This is where it's at. Wolfpack, baby, let's go. A lot of excitement here. As you can see, fans are still oh, here and pumped up about the game. The one thing about the Wolfpack, oh, they are so excited. Because they're going to continue the dance playing Oakland. Coming up this Saturday. So are y'all ready for the dance to keep going? Yeah! All right. Reporting live in Raleigh, Greg Thunderbird, CBS 17 News. <laughs> First of all, I just like that you traded out fans from the beginning of the story. as a whole new group of people screaming behind you. Greg, thank you. Appreciate it. I hope they don't have 8 a.m. classes. That's all I'm going to say. They're going to be there. Just a reminder, the madness continues Friday night as the Duke Blue Devils make their debut, debut in the tournament. The four-seed Blue Devils will tip off against Vermont at 7:10 only on CBS 17.